This is the moment an Arizona woman opened fire on law enforcement officers who chased her for a suspected carjacking, showing no regard for her own safety or that of her 13-year-old son who was with her. Authorities have released body cam footage from the July 5 incident, where fire was returned to Sylvia Marie Bejarano, 33. She later died in hospital after efforts were made to save her daughter. Video clip from ABC News also shows law enforcement used a taser gun on Jose Manuel Gonzalez, 45, the driver of the vehicle they were suspected of stealing, as he tried to flee the scene. Scroll down for videos he was subdued and taken to a Maricopa County Jail. No officers were hurt in the shootout and the child was found to be safe after the incident that began at Arizona's La Quinta Hotel around 6. 30 p.m. Detective Lily Duran said Tempe police confronted the pair on the Thursday evening near 48th Street and Southern Avenue, but Gonzalez behind the wheel rammed into the police car blocking him in and took off collecting Bejarano's son along the way. The K-9 unit eventually caught up with them on 47th and Pecan Road, where the woman got out of the car and shot, hitting a police vehicle in the process. Share this article Share Phoenix Police Department has been leading the investigation into what happened that night. It's the 47th shooting involving law enforcement in the county this year, and of those people 26 victims have died. Public records show Bejarana was arrested and jailed January 8 for failure to pay a fine and another count of driving without a license which could have been suspended, revoked or cancelled. An obituary for her found online describes Bejarano as a homemaker who had three children Samuel Rodriguez, Joshua Rodriguez, and Zariah Bejarano. She survived by her parents Salvador Bejarano and Winfred Pablo and grandmother Diana Bejarano. Bejarano also had 11 siblings Angela, Andrew, Melissa, Simone, Selena, Gialin, Salvador Jr. Isara, Alia, Solano, and Sausa. A flyer for her wake on July 12th and funeral July 13 had a note for attendees not to bring any alcohol or drugs and instructed guests not to wear gang attire for the church service.